I don't know where to go now. Maybe we have to tear down this wall. Maybe we have to pull the lever now. And only now. This game is mean. Weird. This golden fleece has the power to deflect approaching weapons and thrust them back to those who deliver them. Oh, okay. Haha. <laughs> Now I know what the one thingy thing was. Still weird because that thing was way, way far away. Like, that thing's super far away. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can do it that way. Ah, uh, it's stinging quick time event, too. It's a quick time event on top of a quick time event. I hate it. Spectrum is so short. Quit changing the button, please. There we go. Yeesh. Buttons, 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 buttons. Mutton buttons. Now we gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. And this dude's still decomposing. Yeah, the bug fingers didn't eat me this attack me this time. Silly alarm. I know what time it is. It is late time, but I'm having fun. And the God of War doesn't is like really blends together. God of War games really blend together for me. I think we'll get to the next save point after this, and then we'll go from there. Stinking skeletons, go away. That Medusa. Shine King. Mm, this implies more freezing abilities. Will we be fighting Medusikins? Medusikins. Come fight me. Wow. Now parrying actually does stop. Cool. Parrying incoming attacks actually gives you a big advantage now. Ow. Come blue. Goodbye. Goodbye again. And I'm just gonna punch you in the gut and stab you to death. Yeah. 
I guess this is really Medusa, even though they called it Medusa in the last game. And that's how you got the Gorgon's head. Oh, okay. Please keep quick time events on the same area so I don't get confused. Throw it into the other dude! Whoop. Medusa, Gorgon, whoever, I'm going to kill you too, because, well, they've been trying to kill me and they worked for Ares, so. Screw up. Well, he's crazy. Not gonna stop me. <laughs> I accidentally uncovered that. Yeah, it's a secret. Whoop de doo. I had something to do with that. Oh, it's one of these dudes. You wanna attack me now? You wanna attack me now? No, you don't. Come on, fight me. No. I want to parry, but it won't let me parry. There we go. Let's grab him. Oh. Let's stab him through his own sword. And you know what? Even though I said that we're going to stop at the next check uh, point, you know what? No. I want to go. I want to keep going. This is one of those games that's hard to tell when to end. Because it's one clean flow, so you don't know. You don't know! You never know. Yeah, they tried to kill me. Yeah, I don't think I will. Minor annoyances, maybe, but not my end. I just gotta wait for it to go back again. I can do this. Oh, sea suckers. I know. Why is it doing it? After the first time, it should just stop showing those things. Ooh, we're playing pinball.
the bike. I win. I am all that remains. I know that I will not reach the system. Oh, hey! Ugly head! Ain't gonna work on me. Get down here. Get down here. That carried over. Well, I mean, the boobs aren't the focus, so they let him slide. If they were the focus, it wouldn't be in there. Say if there was a photography mode in this game and all I did was zoom in on the breasts, then that would be a clear violation and they'd be like, no, stop that. I'm not going to jump because I don't want to die. Well, for YouTube, I'm definitely going to censor this for YouTube, just for the funsies as well as just in case, because you never know. YouTube is weird. YouTube is weird. Twitch, on the other hand, not so much. They let some things slide and other things not. It's also kind of weird, but eh. All right, now get down here. Get down here again. I'm not gonna jump so much when you're on the ground nowadays, because I I know what you do. I've heard about you and your evilness of insta death because that carried over. Of all the things to carry over. Uh oh, no, 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 damn. Oh, thank God. Come on, let me uh, get down here. Get down here. Well, I think it also helps that I set my Twitch stream to. Uh, warning, this is a mature content stream. Watch at your own peril. Yeah, 
of it. Ah, damn it. Like, wait, it's still there. X. O. Triangle. Well, Mom, you gotta tear off her head. Off of her bloody big head. Bloody big head. You have acquired the head of Uriel. Hold down to activate the head of Uriel. Hold down and then hold that to stone your enemy with the Gargan Stare. Sacrifice five enemies to appease the sisters. Stone them with Gorgon Stare. Finish them off by shattering them. We just went through this, asshole. Seriously, you don't need to go through a tutorial twice just because somebody has the tutorial on. So we killed Medusa, and then the actual big Medusa that actually was a threat was called Uriel. Or Ariel. Well, let's see here. Yeah. I think I've been going for a decent amount of time. Not super duper long for most people's standards, but I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule, and I need to find a good time schedule for streaming and stuff. But anyway... So far, God of War 2 has been really fun. More substantial, in my opinion, than God of War 1. And uh, the combat feels better, and slowly but surely it's adding in more stuff. Because, like, basically, you start the game at the height of your power from the first game. And now you're getting better stuff than that, like... Parrying combos or parrying enemies' attacks actually does something now, which is something that really bothered me from the previous game, and that it never really did that much. But but it still felt like you needed to do it, even though it was kind of annoying and enemies took a long time to die. But here, even though some enemies take a long time to die, they it only takes a little bit of experimenting to find their weakness, like the stinking underground saw you to death dudes. You just throw them up in the air, and then they're powerless, and they die really fast. And it's just like, it feels like they definitely did a lot more work to make sure everything functioned in this game. Though the puzzles still annoy me. It could be a combination of me not really getting it, but it just annoys me. It's like, look, this glowy thing is being zoomed in on to let you know it's important while other parts of the puzzles are kind of obtuse. Like, when I was in the uh, start of this whole get to the island of creation, I destroyed all the skeletons and the body just dropped. It didn't even zoom in on the body, which was dropped behind objects. So it was kind of hard to see unless you walked right up to it. So, I don't know. There's, uh, it feels very weird and kind of schizophrenic in how it's like, obvious thing needs emphasis, obscure thing just needs to be left alone. It just kind of annoys me. Never liked the puzzles in God of War 1, don't really like the puzzles here either. But the boss battles are good. The boss battles are nice. The boss fight against the Colossus was fun. The boss fight against the Horse Keeper was fun. The boss fight against the Barbarian was fun. The boss battle against Uriel has been fun. It's like, so far, the combat feels good. And that's the important thing. The things that aren't related to combat are stupid. Like... After you do the whole, like, garden thing, then it's like, oh, the wall is spitting fireballs. And it's just like, what's the purpose of this? And now that I have the golden fleece, I'm like, oh, now I know that I can deflect attacks. But why would it show me the, eh, fireball, fireball, like, an hour and a half before you get the golden fleece? It just annoys me. It's like, here's a thing that's not going to be relevant for a long time. In considering that the first game annoyed me to the point that... it To the point that I kind of glitched the game because the game wasn't good at telegraphing which way to go. It's like, 
hey, here's an awesome way to go. And I'd go the other way, thinking it's a secret. It's like, it's like it highlighted the secret passage, like, secrets. The, go this way for extra bonus stuff. And then the way you're supposed to go was obscure for, for some reason. To the point that I thought one way was a secret, when it was actually the way to go, and I didn't go the path that it, well, at the same time, it wasn't really a secret path anyway. They wanted you to go both paths, but then I glitched through anyway, so it's like, weird. It's still a weird game. And dear developers of God of War, I just hope that, from the looks of it, God of War for the PlayStation 4, though, looks amazing. Just like, I, I want to see the changes they'll make to God of War, like, the from God of War 2 to God of War 3, and then definitely God of War 3 to God of War 4, because God of War 4 looks like a complete departure. So it's like, it's really cool to start playing these games, and so far, God of War 2 is really, really good. Just, puzzles still annoy me. Anyway, I've been Neon Ice Wings, this has been God of War 2, and I will see you dudes next time. Gotta fly.